In this video, I'll show you how to create a head tracking effect in Filmora, just like in After Effects. So no need to waste any time. Let's jump into Filmora and get started. Alright guys, here's the clip we'll use to create our head tracking effect. As you can see, the frame rate is 23.976. If you have a low frame rate clip like this, the first thing you need to do is change the project frame rate to 60 FPS. To do this, go to your project settings, change the frame rate to 60 FPS, and hit OK. Next, we'll track the head using keyframes. You might wonder why we're using keyframes instead of an automated method. I've searched for easier methods, but unfortunately, there isn't a straightforward way to do head tracking like in After Effects. However, I found two simple tricks to smooth our head track, yielding results similar to After Effects. I'll share these tricks after the tracking process. Let's start tracking the head using keyframes. First, we need to mark the center in our preview window. To do this, go to the settings and enable the ruler. Right-click on the ruler and select Head Guide. Choose Vertical and set the position to 960. Now we have a vertical line in the center. We also need to add horizontal lines, so this time, select Horizontal and set the position to 540. OK now it marks the center of our frame. If you don't have the Ruler and Guide feature, you can use this image to find the center, the link is in the description, you can download it. Now, let's track the head, go to the start of the clip, select it, and bring the head to the center. Adjust the zoom if needed by holding Ctrl and scrolling the mouse wheel. After positioning, create a keyframe on position. Move forward 5 frames, adjust the position, and repeat this process. Once done, our tracking looks like this. You might notice it's a bit jittery, so let's see how to fix that. As I mentioned earlier, I have two simple methods to smooth our head track, similar to After Effects. OK let's move on to the first method, adjusting the keyframe graph. Open the keyframe panel, and you'll see that all the lines are linear. So we need to change these to curves. Right click and select all keyframes. Then right-click again, and apply the curve graph, like this. Now the lines are curved, making the movement smoother. But we're not done yet. The second method is to add optical flow. Go to the speed settings and select AI frame interpolation. You can choose between frame blending and optical flow, but I recommend optical flow for the best results. After applying optical flow, our head tracking should look much smoother, like this. So you can see it almost like in After Effects. With our head tracking done, let's adjust the edit resolution. First, select the layer and convert it to a compound clip by pressing Alt plus G. Give it a name and hit OK. Next, go to the project settings and set your edit resolution. Mine is 1440 by 1600 with 60 FPS. Select the layer again and adjust the scale and position as needed. If you notice parts that aren't centered, adjust them using keyframes, like this. If you encounter blank areas, you can fix them by adjusting the position, but this might affect your tracking. To fix this, duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. And go to the Effects panel. Select Sci-Fi Magic under Video Effects. Then select this Stretch Frame effect and add it to the bottom layer. This effect is similar to the motion tile effect in After Effects, so in here you can adjust the settings as needed. Now your head tracking should be smooth looking like this. So, that's how you can create smooth head tracking like After Effects using Filmora. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do, and now you can use this technique in your edits. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.